Hello, sports fans and football fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And uh, today we are going to discuss my picks for the AFC and NFC championship, which is coming up this weekend, the... Uh, the weekend of January 27th and uh, 28th, or maybe the games will only be on the 28th. I'm not really sure. I mean, you know, I don't make the schedules. Um, we also um, will possibly be having a guest stop by. I have set that up so that that's a possibility, but if he can't make it, he can't make it. And um, in fact, I'm going to uh, text him right now and uh, let him know. But anyway, uh, yes, Mr. Chris Dufour, who has been on the channel before, um, may be stopping by and uh, discussing his picks for the AFC and NFC championship. So, um, and hopefully he can make it. And uh, we will get into the discussion about that. Now, there were some, uh, there were some uh, very interesting games this past weekend. And let me see if I can, I mean, let me see if that even matters. I don't know. Um, but anyway, there were some very interesting games this weekend. I saw the entire game of the um, the Bills versus Kansas City. And I saw most of the Lions game against um, the Buccaneers. And those were two very good games. A uh, little craziness at the end of the Buccaneer game because uh, the Lions took a knee in the victory formation. I don't know if any of you out there saw this, but um, some of the, uh, the, well, the lions took the victory formation and took a knee like three times, but they, for some reason, they did it as quickly as they could. They, they just snapped it and went down. They didn't let the, they didn't let the seconds run off the clock, um, as they could have. And, uh, that could have caused a big problem for them, except but the Buccaneers got the could have gotten the ball back. There's a possibility that the Buccaneers could have gotten the ball back. They could have forced the um, they could have forced the Lions to try to kick a 51 yard field goal. I mean that's what Bo um, Bolton Todd Bowles said um, after the game when he was asked about why he didn't take a timeout. He said that the Lions would just have kicked a field goal, but. That would have been a 51-yard field goal, and although that's makeable in today's day and age, it was certainly not a given that that was uh, that that's what was going to happen. So um, you know, you figure the Lions line up; they they try to kick a field goal. If you call the timeout, the Lions kick the field goal. Maybe they kick it and it's good, and then they they win anyway, and that's it. But maybe they try to kick it, they don't make it, and then the Lions take over right then and there, and, uh, you know, somewhere near midfield, somewhat close, but y y they would have taken over with like, uh, they could have taken over with like 16, 18 seconds left, and uh, possibly done some quick outs, you know, and maybe, you know, whatever, um, and, and work their way down the field that way, I don't know, but um, I mean, it was it was it would have been sketchy anyway. It's not like the Buccaneers had a really good chance of beating the Lions from the situation that they were in because they really did. But um, you know, but why why not try it? It's a playoff game. If you win, you go on. If you lose, you go home. So it's not like you just say, okay, this is a regular season. It's not like a regular season game where you would just say, okay, that's it. You know, we lost. Big deal. We'll get them next week. We'll get the next guys next week. No. So, and then uh, the um, 
the Green Bay game, I did not see. That was, um, no, I didn't see that one. Um, didn't hear too much about it, although it was played in the rain and the 49ers didn't look as sharp as I would have expected they would have. Um, the the, the uh, Packers actually looked better for a little bit for a good chunk of that game, which is probably expected because Green Bay was um, Green Bay had had played the week before and the 49ers hadn't. So they the 49ers had had at least a week off, maybe two, you know, uh, some of their starters have had 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 maybe two weeks off. So, um, you know, that's kind of expected. Um, and then the Ravens game, I did not see. I saw somebody streaming it. So, you know, I watched a little bit of that. But, um, but the Bills game, that was a good game. That was... That was not, that did not upset at all. That was, that was, uh, that was everything I would have expected from uh, Bills, Kansas City. So um, a really good game went down to the wire. Uh, as you may know, the Bills tried to kick a field goal at the uh, right near the very end of the game to try to tie the game and possibly send it to overtime or give Mahomes, you know, 12 seconds to try to do something but the uh field goal attempt was wide right as norwood's was um many many years ago in the super bowl so the bills are quite accustomed to um field goals be field goal attempts being wide right uh and a chance to win or tie a game uh, in the playoffs and in fact the previous one was the Super Bowl. So uh, that leaves us with an AFC championship game matchup of the Kansas City Chiefs visiting the Baltimore Ravens. And uh, in the other game, in the NFC championship game, you are going to have a situation where the uh oh i think we're ready possibly to have mr dufour coming in Paul. all right no one needs to see my face okay i'll bring myself down here closer to the middle then <laughs> so yeah, you look good i was just talking about the um I was talking about the games last weekend, the champion or the uh, the divisional round games. How uh, they were all pretty good games. Did you yes. uh, did you get a chance <laughs> to watch any of them? Yeah, I saw bits of almost all of them, and then uh, I saw a lot of the Green Bay, San Francisco, and a lot of the Buffalo, Kansas City. You know, I was in and out on the Detroit. Uh, I, I saw a pretty good amount of Detroit. Uh, Tampa. So uh I had predicted I I had predicted wins uh, for Green Bay and that was, I missed on that one. And I had predicted Buffalo. So um you know, I was surprised, not surprised, but uh you know the thing was interesting was uh, Green Bay I don't want to say should have won the game, but they definitely could have won that game in San Francisco. San Francisco didn't play particularly well, and I thought Green Bay didn't uh, capitalize on its opportunities. And right. so both Buffalo and Green Bay lost because of, of kicks ultimately, but I thought Green Bay lost that game a lot earlier than when before he missed his kick. They just had so many opportunities to go in the end zone and didn't do it, you know. And Yeah. It'll come back to haunt you on the road for sure. Right, right. So, uh so yeah, it was a good weekend for football, and uh, now we have uh, Baltimore. Yeah, we got uh, Baltimore, Baltimore hosting Kansas City, and then we have the San Francisco 49ers who will be hosting the Detroit Lions. Yeah, the Lions, and of course, 
Man, I, I'm rooting for the Lions, but I don't know. It looks like chalk to me this time around, you know, Baltimore, San Francisco. Yeah. I hope the, I hope the Lions find a way. And certainly the Chiefs could find a way. I mean, they, they're playing – I think they're playing – better than they were in the regular season they you know the last two weeks they've played pretty yeah. well at home against Miami and on the road at Buffalo I know, that's what, uh, some of the analysts were saying that what we saw from Kansas City we did not see at all all season long yeah they look much more functional uh, yeah and uh you know but that, it's just a matter of uh will they look functional against the Ravens defense or not yeah, in that atmosphere on the road, it's not easy to do. Six straight championship games for the Chiefs now, which is really funny because time just goes by so quickly. Mm-hmm. Six straight championship games for the Chiefs, and it just means, and it just struck me that wow, the Patriots have been bad for five years, average to bad, let's say. Yeah, you know, just not a not part of the uh, equation really. In any way, except for one huge blowout playoff loss, I think. Uh, which is kind of funny because you blink your eyes, you just remember it was the Patriots that had won eight in a row. Yeah. And then now the Chiefs have won six in a row. So, right. Uh, it's been 13 years uh, straight for Patriots and, and the Chiefs, uh, Patriots or Chiefs being an AFC championship. Yep. Okay. So that's a long run. Uh, and Mahomes is just. He's just magical. He's still, I think he's still playing at a, a higher level. Yeah, it'll be he interesting. Is. What do you think? I think he definitely is, and I think that the new, uh, the new Brady Peyton Manning matchup is uh, maybe going to be Josh Allen and uh, Mahomes. Yeah, no, you might be right about that. I mean, I certainly think the Bills will be viable next year again, and certainly the Chiefs will too. I mean, you know, these things don't last forever. No. And the Kelsey's of the world are getting older. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, it's still fun to watch these teams play. Uh, Buffalo was – thought Josh Allen – until the until really the fourth quarter, the second half of the fourth quarter, I thought Josh Allen was really good last night. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting that uh, – you know, obviously, kicker missed wide right, but I yeah. mean, there were two plays before that. Allen missed a guy wide open in the end zone, so right because uh, Jones got a bunch of, pre- I guess, a good amount of pressure on Chris Jones. So. Right, and Diggs had a uh, pass go right through his arms. Yeah, that's right. That long pass. Yeah, to start the drive, that was. Him. Yeah. yeah. All right, so. Kansas City, let's start with Kansas City going into Baltimore and taking on the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. So Yeah, what do you think? I you know, I you know, and, and I know you're gonna give me you're gonna give me flack for taking the uh the favorite, but I'm gonna go with Baltimore. <laughs> I mean, I just you know, I'm certainly Kansas City can win the game, especially if they play like they did against the Bills, but I just think that um, I think that if the Ravens and and the Ravens have had a week now to play football because they looked a little rusty um, coming out, uh, you know, this past weekend because they had had like some of their starters had had like three weeks off. But uh, I think now that they have played and they've got a, a recent game and they're back in the swing of things, I think they're probably... Um, I I think I've got to give the edge to the Ravens and think that they're going to beat Kansas City in Baltimore. Well, I mean, yeah, I think if I had to pick, and I do, if I'm on this your program, <laughs> uh, Sportsman Z, you can't just walk away. Uh, I'm gonna I, I I'm gonna pick the Ravens to win the game. Um, yeah, but it's hard though because, well, I mean, Lamar Jackson is just incredible, right? And then so is Mahomes. And picking against Patrick Mahomes is not smart, I think we all learned that. But the, the Ravens' defense, I think, is a bit better than the Chiefs' defense. And I think 
both offenses are playing well. Mm -hmm. So in that simple equation, I just think the Ravens are probably come out top. It's going to be a, I think it's going to be similar to the Green Bay San Francisco game and the and the Bills Chiefs game, even a little bit of the Lions Bucks game where the two teams should go at it, boom 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 boom, and then yeah, you know somebody's going to make a play. But I think if that's the way it's going to be, then the Ravens are defense is probably going to make more plays than the Chiefs defense, um, and so uh, we'll see. I mean. So if you uh, if you had to pick a score, what would you say? Well, that's a good question. Um, I don't know, maybe something like uh, thirty-one twenty-four. That's thirty-one twenty-seven. Something. Like I that. was going to say thirty-one twenty-eight. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So something like that. I think it, I think that's about right. Yeah. Maybe maybe a little less. Maybe twenty-seven twenty-four again or something. But twenty-eight twenty-four. But. Yeah, in that range, I I don't see the defenses keeping each other out of the end zone. But then again, what do I know? We'll see. It's yeah. gonna be fun. Uh, you know, I, it's gonna be fun to see Jackson and uh, at all attack the Kansas City defense. Both teams have good balance right now. I mean, the Chiefs have been using. Uh, I mean, Pacheco and uh, even Hyde uh, Calair. Mm-hmm. They've been running the ball very well, and you know, uh, and both both quarterbacks can make plays out of disastrous situations. Can make positive plays. Mm-hmm. I do love the way uh, way Pacheco runs. Uh, yeah. I hope I'm saying his name right, but I might be not be. But uh, I heard someone describe it as he runs like he's angry with the ground, and I should find that. To be true and accurate, yeah. it looks like that's how he runs. Uh, yeah, he's all like his arms are going and yeah, he's got yeah. tremendous determination and then great, great strength in his legs. Uh, yeah. However, uh, the Ravens' run defense is pretty darn good. So mm-hmm. if they can, if they can, if they can make the Chiefs one dimensional and, and just attack Mahomes with a pass rush for three quarters, it's gonna it's gonna be tough for the Chiefs. I think it'll be tough, yeah. tougher. Uh, but we'll see. I, you know, the Chiefs. It's not like the Chiefs' defense doesn't have its playmakers too. But uh, right, we'll see. I think All right. So, on the uh, NFC side, why don't you lead us out on the NFC pick? Well, my heart's with the Lions mm-hmm. because why not? Right. I mean, right. in our lifetime, we haven't seen the Lions play in a championship. I mean, we saw them play in the 91 championship. I remember it well because we were at, uh, well, you weren't with us, but we were at Jay Short's house watching the Lions. Uh, who did they lose to that? That was, uh, I, I don't know. I think Tom, was Tommy Kramer the quarterback that year for the Lions? I think he might have been. Tommy Kramer. Uh, but the, it, it was the, was it, uh, no, 91. So the Super Bowl ended up being Bills, Redskins. So I think they lost to the Redskins, right? The Lions lost to the Redskins that year. Uh, you don't I, remember, do you? I can tell by the look on your face you don't remember. No. But anyway, I do remember being at Jay Short's uh, house apartment and uh, watching the Bills Broncos and then watching the uh, – I mean, my Lions might have been on first. I don't know what the late game was. Hmm. Probably uh, – it was Lions, Redskins, Bills, Broncos, if I'm correct, because then it would be Bills, Redskins, right? Unless, it, unless that, yeah, it had to be because yeah. the Giants was the year before. Yeah. 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 Anyway, it's been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. Uh, this Lions team has done something I didn't think, you know, here's an interesting thing about the Lions team. First of all, uh, St. Brown is an absolute force. I mean, that dude is mm-hmm. ridiculous. The Lions have incredible talent offensively in St. Brown and Reynolds and Laporta and Montgomery and Gibbs. These guys are electric. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're very, very good football players. Their skill players are off the chart good. And and Jared Goff is playing like a championship quarterback. Yeah. Which is kind of funny, you know, because yeah. you know, the Rams got their their Super Bowl out of the that trade, and it would be neat to see the Lions get a Super Bowl out of that trade, you know. Yes, it would. But um, but but I think the problem for me is 
um, Goff is a might be a uh, if they have to play from behind on the road outdoors, and if there's any kind of weather. I think that might be a problem for the Lions in the yeah. Whereas I think the 49ers are completely comfortable. Uh, I mean, they're skill, talk about skill players. I well, mean, they played in weather last week against Green Bay, and they looked a little sluggish. But that also could have been because of the layoff that they had. So yeah, it could have been. Or or you're right. Maybe they they just were out of sync. Uh, it was a tough weather game. I mean, um, but McCaffrey's just a beast. Look how he took over that game in the end. You know. Yeah. Kittle, uh, Ayuk. Uh, I think they didn't. They said today Debo might play, which would be huge. I think for the night. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they're sure yet whether he's going to yeah. play or not. Obviously, that would be a huge boost for them. I don't know if the Lions' defense has enough players to account for all the skill that the 49ers have. Right. Uh, and obviously Purdy, but I mean, you know, it's not like Purdy's Montana. You know, he's not. No. You're not you're not going to this game thinking, hey, Brock Purdy, Joe Montana, he's going to throw for five touchdowns. No, no I mean, sometimes, sometimes he looks like Joe Montana, and sometimes he looks like Steve DeBerg. So, I love Steve DeBerg, man. Bite your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah. So, and then the other question is, you know, uh, I, I like the 49ers defense. I mean, you know. Yeah, but Bowser, they've got Kendrick they've definitely Warner. got more playmakers on defense than the Lions do, right? And I and I just don't know, you know, I just don't know. Yeah. If the Lions were home, I think I'd feel a lot better about the Lions winning. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I think they're better on turf. They they remind me in a, in some ways they remind me of the '99 Rams. You know, the yeah. Super Bowl champs with Warner, great show on turf, Falk and Bruce and Holt. Yeah, Those guys. Uh, so, so that's my yeah, take. I would. Uh, What's your take? I, I would have to tend to agree with you that I, I, I and I'm a hundred percent behind exactly everything you said. I, I would love to see the Lions win and go to the Super Bowl for the first time in their history, but I think that the uh, 49ers are are definitely the better team. They have more weapons on both sides of the ball, and uh, I just if. If the 49ers are playing anywhere close to at their, you know, at their best, even just, you know, 80% of their best, I think they're going to beat the Lions. Yeah. I mean, home field advantage can play a role. So, and, yeah. you know, I don't know. I don't know. Right. It, it does seem like we're destined for a Niners Ravens Super Bowl. It does, and we already had one of those. Yes, I remember. That's a Super Bowl where the lights went out, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Kaepernick. Exactly right. And right. Was it Kaepernick and Flacco? Uh, yes, it was, yeah. as a and matter of Ravens fact. Ravens won that. Ravens won, right? The Ravens did win that one, yes. Yeah. yeah. So. Because I we'll remember. See. I, I mean, that, that's something. Now, that's something we can talk about to wrap this up, is if that is, in fact, what we are picking, which it sounds like we are. Right. Who wins that ball game? I would go with I'd go with the 49ers, I think, in a very, very close game, but I would take it, the 49ers. It certainly seems like that would be a fun game. Yeah. I don't know of the matchups that could come out of this weekend if there would be a non fun game. Maybe Baltimore, Detroit, but that still sounds somewhat fun to me. Yeah, San Francisco, Baltimore, San Francisco, Kansas City. Both I'm in on both of those. Detroit, yeah. Kansas City. I'm in. De yeah, maybe Detroit, Baltimore would be a tougher one, but yeah, I mean, I'm in. Yeah, I like these four teams, uh, and I think the Lions are a really fun team to watch play. Is the Super Bowl on turf this year? Or are they, are they playing uh, in Vegas? I think Vegas has turf. Yeah, the, I is thought it, that was grass. Is it? All right. Where the Raiders play, right? I yeah, where the Raiders play in Los Maybe it's field. I mean, it might be field turf, but it's not. It's not in a dome. No, it's not in a dome. No. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's a that'll be a fun matchup. We'll see. Lamar Jackson and Brock Purdy. Who knew? Yeah. 
Well, I guess people probably figured Lamar would get there sooner or later. Yeah, you would you would think. He's he's been his own worst enemy at times in the bigger games, but he certainly wasn't against Houston. So, right. We'll see. But San Francisco is a real like a varsity defense. But I mean, so is Houston's got a good defense. That's not fair. I think they just wore down. They weren't ready quite yet. I mean, it's 10, 10 and a half, but Ravens own the second half. So. All right. And there again, the Ravens defense, if I if I recall correctly, the Texans' only touchdown was on a punt return. So they didn't allow an offensive touchdown to the Texans, who had been playing really well offensively. That Their is defense true. is tough. I'd have I have to think about that a little bit. That might be a pick 'em, Ravens Niners. Yeah, interesting. Be a good one. Be a close. I mean, one. I would still give the Ed the slight edge think, to San Francisco, but I think I'll take the Ravens because of the kicker. They still, have, I think Tucker is still on that team, and he's amazing. Yes. and he is. Yeah, he's the best kicker in football. Yeah, I think I'll probably take the Ravens because if if all the kickers left, I know Tucker's not going to miss a big kick. No. Now I say that, and he will, but <laughs> that's how I feel today. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that I guess that is a wrap for us, uh, Chris and I. And uh, who Good do to be you, back on the show? Thanks for the invite. Who does everybody out there think is going to win? Leave it in the uh, comments, and uh, I would love to hear everybody's opinion. And uh, that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Peace. That is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.